All right, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day to all my Valentine soul tribe out there. All right. Hopefully, I'm your Valentine. If you don't have one, I'll be your Valentine. How about that? That'll work. I'm a decent Valentine. Uh, l last year, I pulled on Valentine's Day. I pulled on this this energy. It's not a thing. It, it's well, I mean, it is a thing, but it's not an energy thing per se. It's it's also not st something that's started by the by the, the greeting card companies or anything like that. Valentine's Day goes back a little over 1500 years. It's a Christian feast day that celebrates a couple of Christian martyrs, I think, saints if you will, named Valentine. It's basically what it is. So you can pig out today if you, if you're a Christian, knock yourself out, pig out, have some food. Um, but it is obviously a day. It's a day that we put energy into, into 3D. So it means something to us, which again has an effect on the energy because the energy we put out obviously has an effect. So that said, last year I, I did a fly on the wall for Valentine's Day and we, we had a story, I'll never forget it. We had a story of someone having dinner, for, for example, and just regretting who they were sitting across from. Just absolutely it, it was it was but it's worth going back and watching last year's valentine's reading it really is you can find it if you scan through my channel at any rate this year i'm going to do something a little different this year this is an all signs reading it doesn't matter what your sign is it's straight up energy reading this year i'm i pulled a pre-shuffle on the general energy of the day okay that's it just the general what is it you know the energy around it and I'm going to do, in the main reading, I'm going to do kind of a soulmate journey, but not really. It's kind of more of a you versus them reading. I'm going to pull your Valentine's Day, and I'm going to pull their Valentine's Day. All right? The DF's Valentine's Day and the DM's Valentine's Day. But basically, I'm going to word it to the universe just in case it's a mixed audience. I'm going to word it as my viewers' Valentine's Day and whoever the hell they're dealing with Valentine's Day. The runner, if you will. Okay? Now... I will say this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is technically timeless, even though it's specific to a day. Okay, so whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Doesn't matter. I just encourage you to go watch last year's. But I, that may mean something. If you're one of the people, if, if I said that and you, and you felt, geez, maybe I should, right? Yeah, you probably should, because that might be... That might be more where your energy is. I don't know. I don't even know how this reading is going to come out. I do know what the pre-shuffle is, though, and the general energy around Valentine's Day. And I'm going to tell you, it's heavy on the DM side. It's heavy. In other words, if I asked, I, all I asked the universe was give me the energy around Valentine's Day. And it is heavy. All this, it's like... It's, it's unreal. It's like if, 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 we're, if we're looking at positive and negative polarity, if we're looking at DF versus DM polarity, it's all DM polarity. What I get in the energy around Valentine's Day is you. I get the DF. I get the Empress energy. Okay? Yeah, there's a lot of love in the air, too. We could say that. Uh-huh. We could. I mean, it's a day where we put out love, right? You bring people flowers and those little candy hearts and things like that. Elementary school kids are, give, are passing out little cards. A teacher makes them do it, right? Picks a valentine out of a hat for them and all that. Kind. Yeah, it's a love day. It really is. Love, love, love. But this is someone with the Eight of Pentacles being crossed by this who's trying to distract themselves from thinking about this. Why? <laughs> because, because of this. Because of the King of Wands and crossed by the Knight of Swords uh, and a tower. Because again, they're sitting across from somebody who they'd rather, it's fake, it's phony, it's nonsense. It's, it, all they can think about is the DF, is the soulmate connection, is this empress. And this empress is you, my viewer. For the most part, anyway, it's what my channel attracts, you know. So somebody's trying to distract themselves away from it and they wish they were somewhere else. I got old Jimmy Buffett ringing in my head with, uh, wishing he was somewhere else with his song, Great Filling Station Hold Up. Right? Anywhere other than here, he was singing about sitting in a jail cell. Well, here's a jail cell right here. You know, somebody, somebody's done. Also, there might be some, pay attention to my Mercury and Aquarius reading. You know, there's some, there's some strong words being said here. Words that cause a tower. Words that can't be taken back. This Valentine's Day, because of the, I will tell you, and I'm just going to tell you this, because of the astrological alignments, which I know about, because I'm an energy reader, plus it's my job to kind of know about them, to come out here and talk to you about them and incorporate them into my energy reads. The energy of the day is very conducive to people taking a look 
at, at their relationships. It's going. It's another big two in a row. Another big breakup. Valentine's Day. It's another day where uh, if you're not happy, uh, because Mercury's in Aquarius and all the other energies around, uh, it's a big. It's a big day of people re reassessing their relationships. So this doesn't surprise me when I pull the environmental energy around it. And I want to point something else out. Because I know somebody said, well, di didn't you have a Knight of Wands there in another reading? You probably just didn't. Or a King of Wands there in another reading. You probably just didn't shuffle from your extended for the, you know, what, for the whatever it was. Yeah, I want to point out, this is the retired old animal deck that I brought out for this reading. Okay, so, nope, that didn't happen. Got nothing to do with it. From a fresh deck, literally fresh, pulled out of retirement, which I do occasionally. This is the original Steve's Love Tarot animal deck. Right, the one that made Steve's Love Tarot. You can see all the ripping in it. The nice new shiny one that you might be thinking of is right there. All right, nice and shiny. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Let's shuffle. Let's do this. Let's do it. Valentine's Day. Let's start with you. Okay, <laughs> what's your Valentine's Day like? I don't know. Uh, give me the Valentine's Day from my energy around my viewer universe. All right. Uh, I will say it's also conducive energy for... Uh, a, a new thing. Some of you might have some surprises. You might have a you might meet someone new. So make sure you go out and about. Make sure you go to those Valentine parties. All right. Or just make sure you're out and about if you can be. And out and about can mean online too. Yeah, y'all know I hate that, but it is what it is. I mean, if you're trapped in a cabin in Mon in Montana or up in Saskatchewan, I mean, there's not much you can do, right? So just you know, whatever you snowed in or whatever it is. Go online. You might meet somebody new. That's fine. Plenty of relationships have started that way. I'll tell you what. All right. I'm shuffling on your Valentine's Day. Let's see where we go. I love shuffling. There's so much energy of this old animal, the original one. I only retired it because I don't want it to fall to shreds. But I, I do break it out occasionally for special readings. And I think Valentine's Day is a special reading, isn't it? Isn't this a special day? Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Let's see where we go. I got a lot of Valentines this year. I can tell from the energy. Oh my God, holy crap. All right, let's see where, <laughs> your Valentines Day. I might not after this reading. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna come out. You never know, right? All right, hold on. Uh, how do I wanna do this? I'm gonna pull three cards. This, the bottom card will be crossing the center card. That's how I was gonna do it. So I'm gonna pull them in columns so we don't get all messed up here. King of Pentacles. Wow, my God. What's the center card? The Tower. I told you. I told you. You might. Something surprising. You got a surprise in store for you. I said it. Rewind. I did. Look. The base energy is a surprise. This is no different than a regular three card. This would be here. The next card would be here. We're just doing it this way. All right. Wow. Oh, I usually show you the base energy first. Oh, how about that? Well, okay. I'll show you. Somebody on your periphery, a page of swords. Right? Somebody definitely, there's an energy here of some energy. I think it's a new energy. It's a page here who sees your value. For a good number of you here, uh, your, your life's about to change. And it can change very suddenly. And I want to remind people of that. Okay? Things can turn on a dime. You have no idea moment to moment, right, what's going to happen at all. You know, whether it's what's going to happen on your runner's side or what's going to happen to you. There's, but the energy actually, in spite of the fact I said the astrological alignments are conducive to people breaking up, the energy is actually very auspicious, auspicious right now. That, that means good. Okay, it, It's very good right now because even if they do break up, it's for the greater good. Right? It's about assessing whether or not something's making them happy. It's not about leaving for a selfish reason or something like that. So don't take what I said earlier the wrong way. Although for a lot of you, you're waiting for your runner to break up with somebody. But as far as you go, something very special. There's a chance for a surprise, a Valentine's surprise. What's the, uh, what's red with the King of Pentacles here? Look at that. Some cards from the, from the uh, pre-shuffle came back, which is fine. This is how your energy... See, I did the pre-shuffle. I said, give me the energy around Valentine's Day. So it's going to stick both of you in there. You were both in there. It's just heavy on, on the runner's side. It was just very heavy on it, but the way it, uh, the way it flowed out. But here, we took some of the same energy from that pre-shuffle. And here's how it plays out for you. The tower is in the base. Now, for some of you, this could play out as your surprise that you hear from this person which wouldn't surprise me based on the Mercury and Aquarius reading from the other day, 
okay but for others of you again somebody something's coming towards you and it changes everything this three of wands proves that that's underneath here these cards are, are crossing the tower so they're they're the environmental energy around the tower and you're sort of underneath this and everything's kind of changing around it's very good it's very good energy um, I've got a I've got a Queen of Cups here I got a three of swords crossed by the Queen of Cups so it's it's that energy that makes everything okay right in other words if you ban it, it it's it's a Valentine's Day that has the potential to, to heal some pain okay by bringing you a little gift a little surprise uh, it could just be as simple as you find in your finding your self-worth you understanding some some kind of information is coming your way didn't that come up in a three card I pulled the other day something about you're about to find something out that that all that kind of again we've been talking about that it's been here in the energy it's very strong right now because it's coming out that way so your Valentine's Day it overall is quite good I will just for fun just for you I will clarify the tower here with the witches okay we'll talk to the witches I don't know if I'll clarify anything on their side or not I might I don't know but let's talk to the witches here tell me a little bit more about this tower is this a good tower or a bad tower that's kind of what I'm putting out right because I want you to, I, I already know it's good it's auspicious energy it really is even though it, within the energy and, and you know there's 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 like it's like a breakup song it, it's for the it's for the greater good and that's playing out for you in more healing energy than anything else so that, that's quite nice well, well let's just find out let's ask the universe I'll throw a couple cards on top of the tower here we'll see where we go I'll just do regular clarifier I'll do a crossing card and then two cards on top all right is that good okay all right I assume they said all right I don't know let's see uh, yep um, seven of Pentacles that's the crossing energy on it okay when I ask what I asked right is this a good tower a bad tower what is this it's 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 it is game changer a little bit uh, it, it allows you to reassess some things see some things from a different angle it, it gives you a moment to kind of go oh wow right it is things can turn on a dime they really can things can turn quickly the moon on top of the tower why is the moon here three of swords again and we had that right now I got I got the seven of Pentacles crossing it I've got the moon and why is the moon here the three of swords I'm gonna show you I had that three of swords and it, it here was crossed by a Queen of Cups which is that energy of, of sort of it's very healing it is um, some sort of hidden pain here you you either find out something because I got, I got a Knight of Swords here right whatever you find out according to these cards According to the energy, how it's reflecting here, because these two are red together, Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles. Whatever you find out makes you stronger, right? It, it, it boosts your confidence, if you will. It's a very confident king. It's a good, powerful, makes it, it's a very special king. It's my eight point buck with rainbow antlers, right? Whatever this is, some sort of hidden pain, if you will, some, something you've been afraid to look at you're no longer afraid to look at because something happens okay again it, it gives you a new way to assess things and I can tell you it has a lot to do with either your soulmate connection with this side that I'm about to pull on or a new soulmate coming in which I really think yeah I got the options card underneath it and my little wizard there going whoa hold on a second hold on a second you might not care about this I got some great cups here I got Monty Hall right here with his pick door number three right wow it's nice it's nice again with the second time on the three of swords uh, it's it has it's, it's it's a major healing all right it's a very good it's a very good energy time for you and again it's not just confined to Valentine's Day I am asking the universe about the specific energy right now there's a lot of healing coming all right same deck here we go <sighs> I'm gonna cut the deck being encouraged by my intuition to cut the deck so that's what I'm gonna do all right and then I'm gonna shuffle for the other side <laughs> randomly at the bottom is judgment yeah that doesn't surprise me where did we get judgment in their 3d activity in, in a reading was that Mercury and Aquarius where judgment fell there I don't remember oh but it, it's strong it's somebody here 
Oh, uh, it's it's an uh, this reading can pair because there's no time in the energy. Okay, time is our human construct, our thing, the the way we're talking about it, right? Months, days, hours, weeks, all that kind of stuff. So uh, this this reading could pair nicely, I think, based on that pre-shuffle too, with the uh, um, last year's Valentine's Day reading. Um, this is also an energy, by the way, just in general, if it means something to somebody, of vindication. Okay, this is this is some serious vindication. It really is, uh, big time. Uh, you come out smelling like a rose or smelling like a eight point buck with rainbow antlers, whichever way you want to look at it. Tell me about the runner's side universe. Tell me about the uh, the other side here, the incoming energy, the DM, the runners, whatever you want. The universe probably knows it better as the incoming energy. So let's see. Let's see where we go here. Can't shuffle anymore. You see that card? Yeah. Here it is again. It's three swords. Uh, I'm telling you, even the bird laughed and he a Pisces, you know. That's going to be crossed. Somebody's not having a very good Valentine's Day, I'll tell you. Okay, three wands. Some anywhere other than here. There's Jimmy Buffett, upright. Jimmy Buffett, great filling station, hold up. Sitting in a jail cell, wishing I was somewhere other than here. <laughs> Ah, uh, it, it pops in my head. This is very interesting. You guys are getting a lot of similar cards, but their universe is angling them out. I've got a page of swords here in the center, which is crossed by three swords, okay? I'll tell you what that means in a moment. And right here, this next card is red with the three of wands, and it's ten swords. And it, you don't get any more somewhere other than here than this. Okay, not only are they look, uh, it's like, again, this is almost last year's Valentine's Day reading. I pull on them again. It's almost like they're sitting across the table from somebody and the person's yapping, right? They're talking, but they're not hearing it. It's just Charlie Brown's teacher. Wah, 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 wah. And they're looking off into space somewhere else because it's over. They realize it's over, it's over, it's dead, it's done. They, they would rather be anywhere else with three swords crossing the page of swords. I could read that a couple of different ways. I could take that, I'm going to clarify their page of swords because I did it for you for the tower. But I could take that a couple of different ways. That is, on one side, they feel small, right? They feel stupid, their behavior has hurt them, right? On the other side, it ties to the pre-shuffle where in the energy of the day, they're, they're trying to distract themselves from the empress which is an impossible task. It's impossible. So somebody here could, in, a, in effect, just be thinking and daydreaming about you, which is still a spying energy. Spying can be straight up spying, you know, driving by your house or looking at your social media, but can also be just looking at your picture, daydreaming. And I'm telling you, a lot of these runners have a folder in their computer or whatever, their little laptop, their little phone with your name on it. And it's got a lot of stuff in it about you. I'm telling you that's true. And if you don't believe it, I'll tell you, I don't care. <laughs> it's true. Um, either way, let's, let's clarify that page of swords. I did it for you. I'll do it. We'll grab the, you know what? We won't grab the witches. We'll grab a fresh deck just in case there's some cards here. Uh, some matching cards. What's going on with the page, uh, page of swords? Tell me about their baseline energy here. Yeah, this is somewhere other than here. This backs up the pre-shuffle perfectly and yours does too. And we even get, you know, again, that three of wands there. I love that. I love that that came out there. Oh, somebody wants something new here. Someone's putting it in. If, it's, if they're in a relationship and they've been um, always reconciling with that person, somebody's done with that. Okay? Done. That ten sword says it. Wants something new. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's clarify the page of swords here. It, the, the energy of the day, and if, if you, I believe you'll see it if you go to reputable astrology sites and things like that. I know y'all read stuff online, but I check up on this stuff. I like to know what's going on with the energy. But the energy, if you add up all my readings that have led up to this day, you could skip the trouble of reading those sites because the energy's right there. You can see it. It, it comes up. But it is a day of, of reassessing relationships and things like that. It's a tricky it's another tricky Valentine's uh, energy. It really is for Valentine's Day. 
It's a good thing it's a day of feasting because you know people like to eat when they get depressed. So it's good. You can feast with the Christians and celebrate St. Valentine. There you go. It's a 1500 and what is it? 1527 years or 1500? I forget. It's 1500 and something years. It goes back. So it's got nothing to do with the greeting card companies like a lot of people seem to think. All right. But we have, of course, run with it and took advantage of it. They just latched on to the holiday as a marketing thing. What's going on with Page of Swords here? Why am I shuffling so much? I don't know. Mm -hmm. This is hard. Mm, big time. I don't mean that in a dirty way. Uh, well, they, may, they might because they focused on the Empress. That's for sure. I don't know. But it's Ten Wands. Ten wands crossing it. And I'll throw the top two cards just like I did for you. But t listen, I don't even need... I, this is, again, it's disappointment. They're just disappointed by who they're sitting across. Their, their whole Valentine's Day is disappointing. Why? Well, we could be literal and just take it from the pre-shuffle. When I pulled on the energy, it was heavy on their side. Somebody trying to distract themselves from the Empress, which you can't distract yourself from. How the hell you distract yourself at night? in a field from a tree that's glowing red. How, how do you do that? It, you can't. It's a rooted energy once it gets in you. You know, rooted energy means a lot of things. It means it's something that can go the long haul, slow growth, slow steady growth, and things like that. But it also can mean sort of once it gets rooted in you, you don't, it's hard to get rid of, right? The Empress energy is like herpes for this person. It just keeps coming back. You can put all the cream and ointment on him on all you want. It just keeps coming back. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And it's creating a huge level of disappointment within them because they'd rather be anywhere other than, yet again, second Valentine's Day in a row, they'd rather be anywhere than where they're sitting. It's their own fault. If you've been watching my readings, they all tie together. I'm here really reading the energy, taking you through it, right? It all makes sense together. Not no weird anomalous readings that don't make sense. Well, last week he said that, and then this week it said, you know, no. Because that's all bullshit when that happens. It's right here. What's on top? Yeah, you want, you want more proof? Okay, fine. Here, first top card, five pentacles. They left themselves disappointment. They've left themselves out in the cold. The good stuff, you, is inside this door. Or they could have had it anywhere other than here. I wouldn't be surprised if Jimmy Buffett himself is watching this reading going, oh my God, I can't believe this guy knows that song. That's from an album I did in 1972 or whatever, you know. Yeah, I know the song. It's on the Pink Crustacean and a White Sport Coat album. I love that album. I tell you what, mm -hmm. my father used to love that song because he was a good, he was a big beer drinker. And the line is, uh, I'd rather be any, somewhere other than here, down in some honky-tonk, drinking on a beer. Yeah, that was it. You had my dad hooked. You got a hit right there <laughs> with someone like my dad as soon as you mentioned beer in a song. That's it. Uh, five of Pentacles, out in the cold. This is, this is sad. Okay, because of some kind of disappointment, because they just don't like where they are. They get tired of it. And now we've got Mercury and Aquarius, which makes you speak up. It's outspoken. It says what it thinks. It tells you what it, it, and sometimes afterward, you're like, I can't believe I said that. But, you know, especially if it's someone not used to it. What did I tell you in the Mercury and Aquarius reading? It's like the person that never swears, who all of a sudden starts throwing around swears all over the place. And you're like taken aback by it. Like, whoa, <laughs> I did not expect that. Right? It's like that. Why is the five of pentacles here? <laughs> Six of wands. Yeah. Some, any, somewhere other than here. Anywhere other than here. All right. Somebody here again. Uh, got, they got life wrong on some level. It's, it's a victory energy. Right? And the card that comes after it just for fun was the Ace of Cups, which is leaking. Somebody wants love here. Somebody wants to come in from out of the cold. Somebody needs to get victory over this. I think this energy adds up to words being spoken about that disappointment. I truly do. Uh, that's, that's their Valentine's Day. And it could result, and I'll pull another row. I will. I could see what, what does all this result in? You know? I mean, I don't know. I'll have the universe just add it all up with three cards and a bottom card. I don't care. I'll use the witches for it. Um, no, I won't. I'll use the little animal deck. It could result in them communicating with you, which, is, which would certainly surprise the crap out of a lot of you and would come out of nowhere. Right? Could be. Uh, and it would certainly alleviate three swords. You know, it certainly would enlighten you. It's possible. 
I'm not telling you it's not possible. I can't predict what a 3D person's going to do. But I can tell you whatever happens, leave it independent, right? Over here, somebody having a very bad evening. Okay, it's not very good. And the bird is laughing. When the bird laughs, I'm spot on. Okay, and he a Pisces, you know. Over here, you're not having a bad evening at all. You've got a surprise. I think for some of you, this is a, you meet someone new. This is a surprise run-in or you hear from somebody you haven't heard from in a while and something about it, something they say, some kind of message that comes your way, boosts your confidence, makes you feel good. Makes every, it's, it's very healing over here. Let's see what else the universe wants to tell us. I'm going to use the little animal deck. There's a six of cups randomly at the bottom crossed by a magician. There's a soul contract playing out here. Big time. Uh, there's also a quick change energy. Again, I see that on your side with a tower. Now that tower was also part of their energy in the pre-shuffle. So again, I see that tower energy bleeds over here in this situation. I think old Jimmy Buffett breaks out of that prison cell and heads down to that honky tonk and has himself a beer. I think somebody, somebody speaks their mind here. Okay? I, I think somebody's really making some assessments big time. Looking in a new direction, that's for sure. All done. You know, anywhere other than here. It's really funny. It's really in that energy. Um, let's let's pull three cards and a crossing card down the middle. Let's just take a look. What else you want to say? Is there anything else you can tell me here, universe? Uh, what? Mm, I don't know. There's too many people watching to ask what actions... Uh, is this side likely to take toward this side? I'll try, okay? I'll try, but I'll scrap it if it's anomalous. Because there's no way with thousands of people watching, you're all going to hear from your person. That would be some kind of miracle. All right, that would make me the warlock on the hill. And in that case, I should get an award if that happened. If every viewer watching right now hears from their person on Valentine's Day, okay, I will accept an award. I will. Uh, but that's not going to happen. I don't need to start clearing wall space, okay? All right, let's see, let's see where we go. But I want to see how, what, what this results. Uh, what, what's happening over here? How does this result for the uh, other side? Uh, you know, what kind of thing might come out? It might give me that. We'll see. I don't know. I don't want to give anybody false hope here. Uh, the moon. Well, that's interesting. Eight of Wands, space energy of communication. And the two of swords. It's confused communication. It's 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 again. It's someone holding back and hide, hiding hiding things. You get the okay. I don't think it's for all of you. Let's be clear. I don't think I need the clear wall space for that award. But when I ask the universe what's likely to happen for the DF with regard to what's going on over here, the base answer is communication. It's the eight of wands. That's the answer. Okay, that eight of wands is crossed by the five of pentacles. Further proof because that's this person wanting to come in from out of the cold, which is verified by the six of wands. So again, they see victory in something that they've only been spying on that they realize is leaving them out in the cold. Huge disappointment. So you're basically the honky tonk with the cold beer from the Jimmy Buffett song. Okay, uh, yeah, they want to come drink it. All right, at the end of the day, it, it could result in communication. Yeah. Ace of Swords, right there. Steve speaks the truth. It's crossing this. Somebody needs to alleviate something. Somebody wants to fix this. Fine. But my problem is the Two of Swords is red with the moon. And it's the same, same shit we've been seeing. It's the same sort of uh, two Ace of Swords crossed, right? If, if they truly, the universe is kind of saying here, if they truly want to turn things around, the Wheel of Fortune, and come in from out of the cold, we need these two swords to go to one. We just need them to speak their mind, speak their peace, right, toward you. Um, they're, gonna, they're keeping a lot hidden. There's a lot that they're afraid to say, a lot of stuff holding back. So if communication does happen, which it might for a good number of you, not all, but a good number of you, okay, uh, know that they're holding back some things, all right? Uh, and whether you should push them or not, I don't know. Um, again, there, there it is. You're, you're the th this is proof. See this card? See how it matches this card? This is proof because I pulled on you right now what you can expect. This, it, these two being a match is proof that you're what they're thinking about. It backs up the pre-shuffle, which means they're trying to distract themselves from the Empress. So again, I will pull on this Eight of Wands here. 
I've been doing, I've been clarifying the center card. I might as well keep the theme going. I got, you know, I got nowhere to be. I'm fine where I am. I don't need to be drinking any beer right now. So, let's let's pull on it. Let's go. Eight of Wands. Tell me about it. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. What else you want? What do you want the uh, my viewer to know about this potential communication here? And again, it can't be for all of you. It can't. With all this fear here, Major Arcana, I don't think so. All right? But one of the things that could bring healing to you is if your person doesn't show up. I think that's more healing for most of you than if they do. I think if they do, it's frustrating. It creates a problem for a good number of you, right? Because they're holding back. I think if they don't show up, it tells you something about somebody, you know? It really... You know, if, if you're that intimidating to this person, if they if if being open, and then they can sit in this forever. They can sit in that jail cell, knock themselves out. You know, they got the it, you know it, it's it, it's a prison of their own making. The key is in their pocket. Proof of that is the Five of Pentacles, which has represented them twice now. The key is right there. It's right there on the card. You know, it's not in her pocket, but it is right there. She can pick it up. What's going on with the Eight of Wands? What else you want to tell? And we'll go. All right. This is nice energy for you. Over here, you could pair this with last year's Valentine's Day reading perfectly. You could. No problem. Piece of cake. Why is the Eight of Wands here? I don't remember what I said in that reading. I don't remember the cards, but I do remember the basic theme of it. And it came out again. Eight of Wands. Tell me about it. Okay, here we go. Yeah. The, for those... I said yeah. Okay, Seven of Swords is the bottom card tossing it. For those, you hear the bird laugh? Did you hear him? He went, <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, that's our thing. We've been in, in each other's company for 20 years. He understands that I'm some kind of freak that picks up on things. He's, animals are way better energy readers than humans, even the best of us. Okay. At the end of the day, he chuckles at the energy because, yeah, it, it, it's kind of a joke. Those of you that receive communication from this person, it's riddled with a lot of bullshit. Okay? It, it's just riddled with it. It's very deceptive. Right? It's very deceptive. They're still on the fence about telling the truth. It's very strange with that hangman there. It's very strange. And there's the Knight of Swords. For some of you, for a good number of you, a communication, a rather deceptive one, where they're holding back quite a bit. I got a lot of matching cards here. I've got a moon here, a moon here. I've got a knight of swords here. I've got a knight of swords here about the communication. For a good number of you, Valentine's Day and what happens on it results in communication from your person over here, okay? Which may not be great. It's kind of deceptive, but it's very healing to you. You might be a little hurt by what they're hiding, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to remind you all again. Just the fact that this person even shows up, okay, is should be a confidence booster on crack to you. Because if you didn't matter, if you supposedly don't matter, and they're supposedly so happy with their life that they're going to run from you, right, then why the hell are they still hanging around? Why are they even showing up in the first place? So I think some of you are in for a surprise when you get a surprise valentine that you weren't expecting. But they're still holding back a lot of stuff. But that teaches you something about a person. All right? Pay attention. All right? don't, don't just listen to the words coming out of people's mouths. Pay attention to their actions. Because I got a King of Swords here. Who, who is the very, Why is the Knight of Swords here? Because, the, because of the King of Swords. Okay? The King of Swords orders the Knight of Swords to go do shit. So again, it's, they know how they feel. That's an energy when I see these together in this order. I see someone who knows exactly how they feel, knows exactly what they want to do. This You would definitely make them happy, but they're leaving some things out. The Knight of Swords has one specific message. This is the king of truth. He knows it all. All the truth. Got it. This right here, this knight, has one specific message. It's my Paul Revere card. The red coats are coming. The red coats are coming, right? He didn't advertise the bakery down the street and all that stuff like I always say. He's got one message. That one message is nothing compare it's it's got some deception to it just keep that in mind i did my best i didn't want to pull on this because i don't want to get anybody's hopes up that somebody's coming in because i have no way of knowing what a 3d person's going to do the universe could be telling us here and i'll be honest because that's what i do uh the universe could be telling us here you it, 
that this person's not coming in, you better hope they don't, right? Kind of a thing. You don't want them coming in in this energy, and this is why, is what I'm saying, okay? The universe could just as easily be trying to convey that message. So I give it to you from both sides. Either way, it's very, something happens for you. That much, this much I can tell you. Something happens for you very suddenly. That's very healing for you, okay? It really is. It might bring up some past pain, but that's good. Something you find out helps alleviate that and gives you, makes you very strong, all right? Makes you see your worth, see your own value, all right? Um, and, and again, I want to point out with this tower here in the base energy, I'm done talking about this. With this tower here in the base energy, I want to point out again, I want to remind you that things can turn on a dime. That's why I don't like people that get down and, you know, and, and they get all in eight swords and worried about things. Things change very quickly, all right? Think of, it just, it can. You could wake up one day, it could be the worst morning of your life, and something could happen at 2 o'clock in the afternoon that completely changes everything. It could. You always keep that in mind. We, like energy attracts like energy. Put out an energy of that sort of thing. Leave some neutrality for outcomes. That includes your days, right? Anyway, that's that. So pay attention to any messages coming to you in dreams. Pay attention to any messages coming to you. This is more of a 3D thing. I'll be honest, it feels to me like that. All right. So that's Valentine's Day. We got you. We got the potential for a deceptive conversation that leaves out a lot of stuff, a surprise visit from your runner. Or universe saying it's best if they don't because this is what will happen if they do. But uh, if nothing else, we take a sneak peek, a, a fly on the wall over on their side, and this pretty much backs up the pre-shuffle nicely of someone who can't keep their mind off of you and is very disappointed with who they're sitting across. All right? Who they're giving their love to because there's no love there. I can tell you that. It's, it's, been, it's been done a long time and they're looking in a new direction and that direction is you because you, have, you had the three of wands somewhere around here too. I don't know. It was in another shuffle. But either way, I remember showing you two three of wands. Unless I dreamt that. I don't know. He's reading. Sometimes you lose yourself in the energy, right? That's it. That's your reading. I hope everyone has a happy Valentine's Day. You should anyway, you know? It's a gift just to be alive. Enjoy it. It's fun. Life is fun. Enjoy it. It's, it's all just an illusion. It's perfectly fine. You know? You're here. It's a day. That's it. Go buy somebody a card. Buy yourself a card if you want to. Knock yourself out. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. And I think last year's Valentine's reading, Valentine 2022, is worth a watch based on what came up in this reading. You do what you want, all right? All right, good luck.